What is good? We're back. Let's go. Real excited about this one. Trey Lance, after being QB3 on the Niners, gets sent over to the Big D. Oh, I'm so glad to have that fucking talking point out of the 49ers and over suck it Grant Con or whatever the fuck <laughs> that guy's name is over to the Dallas Cowboys and and what I find interesting about this is that every single time that Dak Prescott has a misstep or a bad game <laughs> or whatever that all they're just gonna it's gonna be Trey Lance fucking talk about is Dak getting re-signed oh this is gonna be Trey's team Trey Lance should be, uh, Trey Lance looks so good in practice. It's going to be a whole <laughs> lot of fun uh, to see uh, unfold uh, and take uh, shape here. Uh, now, just because it's Dallas, just, right, right, right. Yeah, um, you know, and I like to see Jerry. I like to see Jerry. Uh, you know, <laughs> take one uh, and, and maybe, you know, I don't think things are going to backfire. You know, I, I like Trey. I think Trey's a good player. Um, he just really hasn't gotten a chance. So Have you seen him play? Okay, is, it hasn't been good. This is what I wanted to come on here and I'm talk right. about. And if you're a patron member, you've heard some of this already. But this was before the trade happened. So I wanted to come out and put a, a public video out here um, and talk a little bit about Trey Lance and how everybody, you know, just the outrage and all the silliness that I see uh, out there and, and just kind of give, you know, our opinion on it. So, you know. Obviously, being named QB3 uh, caused some outrage. And then I saw a, a clip of Nick Wright on Colin Cowherd uh, saying how the 49ers handling of Lance was unprofessional. And then I saw other people saying shit like that. And it's like, what what, what are we what are we doing here? The handling uh, of Colin Kaepernick was unprofessional. Okay, Lance <laughs> was treated just fine. You know what I'm saying? Right. He got paid a ton Jesus of money. Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the lot of out, you know, a ton of outrage <laughs> on Twitter and amongst all the sports shows of uh, QB3 being the uh, last couple of days. We haven't been uh, on a Monday sports show yet with the trade of Lance to Dallas. And by the time you're seeing this, it will probably already be uh, had happened. Um, but it happened, you know, kind of over the weekend here. Need to get it out tonight. Uh, so, you know, none of this criticism of unprofessionalness and outrage really makes all that much sense to me. The Deniners mm -mm. certainly blew the trade up. Did they the Niners it up. certainly blow it on the trade up? It didn't work out. It didn't out. work out. Right. But it's not because Lance can't play. We don't even fucking know if Lance can play. But he didn't do good in that monsoon game. Right. Well, you know, Sam Fran <laughs> in 22 was ready to take, let Lance lead them and take whatever lumps they needed that season. But due to un... Fortunate circumstances, and I think that's what we can classify this whole Lance thing as. Unfortunate. unfortunate. Not unprofessional. Right. Unfortunate. A monsoon game in Chicago week one in 22 when the Niners said, hey, we're, we're going to take our lumps, and hopefully by the end of the season we got something here, and, and we need everything we, you know, they catered the offense around him. They, uh, Shanahan came out and said, hey, we had a whole plan. We had a whole game plan. We had the monsoon game, and then, then he gets carted off in week two. He doesn't mm -hmm. get the chance. And let's not forget in that offseason, the Niners were trying to trade away Jimmy Garoppolo. He just maybe was late on an ankle surgery or something or the foot or whatever it was. He didn't get it. I don't know exactly what happened, but they couldn't get a deal done. It seemed like maybe he was going to go to Washington, but he wasn't healthy at the right time and it didn't happen. Now, that kind of worked out in the Niners favor a little bit for, uh, sure. for, for a short period if you of time. like winning, but you'll also remember in that. Uh, in in 21 Lance broke his finger in the preseason and then he had a knee sprain during that season so again times where he could be getting more reps and doing things he was probably limited in those practices and and, and in getting those reps even in that 21 season so you know that stinks and then something else unfortunate also happened to Lance Purdy came in and ran that offense better than we have seen anyone under Kyle Shanahan run it uh, and if not for a very rare injury they could have made another Super Bowl appearance, you know, possibly. We don't know what the outcome would have been, but it would have been a hell of a lot better of a game than what we watched. Um, so really, at the end of the day, what are Kyle and, and John supposed to do here? Kyle Shanahan and, and, and John Lynch. You, we go in the locker room and say, hey, we spent three first round picks on this guy. We're not really sure if he can play or not. But, uh, you know, instead of starting this guy who just came in and crushed it for us. We're going with this other guy. Uh, you know, we don't care that party was lights out in these eight games. And by the way, was a rookie. I think that's the part that everybody misses here is he was a seventh round fucking rookie pick. He didn't get the first team rep. He didn't get any of that stuff. Um, so, you know, hey, we may not be any good, but we're going to defend our decision for that trade. And Lance is starting. It's like, no, man, like that locker room, I'm sure 
majority of it is like, hey, we got to go with Purdy. We got to go with Purdy, right? I mean, we're we're ready to win. We're ready to win now. Uh, we we don't need uh, we don't need to a take project. We don't still. need to see. We don't need to spend another year on Lance getting him prepared to play and and taking his lumps because he just quite frankly, has not played football. I'm fine with you giving your quarterback a year off, especially if you have an option there to go like Jimmy G, uh, which is what they did. And then they were ready to go and give him Lance his due and his start and let him get going in this system. But it didn't work out. It stinks. It didn't work out. I I just don't. So what, you're going to be mad at the Niners about that? Like, right. You're going to be mad that the Niners took a swing because if they don't take a swing, if you don't go take swings on quarterbacks, then they're not going to like you. Right. And then you take the swing that they want you to take, which could have unlocked. A, I don't even know what would happen. Well, the idea is, is you get a mobile quarterback who unlocks like the fourth fucking wall of what this offense it's is. Like, and now it's incredibly multiple and good luck stopping any of it. It just, right. again, didn't work out. But through great drafting and team building, they have a Super Bowl contending roster and found a guy with the last pick of the draft right. who won eight straight games and took him to the NFC Championship game. Right. And, and you know, I got hurt on like the first fucking throw. Well, they went out and scored one time, and then he got hurt. Mm. Um, so, but First quarter, that's what I meant. What's, it's just crazy that they're like, oh, well, you know, every other GM who made the worst trade in league history, they would have to, they would have to answer for this and, 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 and pay up. Huh. And it's like, pay up, what? pay up for what? 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 what do you want to fire these guys? Yeah. You want to fire John no. Lynch and Kyle Shanahan? I, that uh-uh. makes no fucking sense. Uh-uh. They have been in three NFC championships and one Super Bowl, and they could have been in another one. And who knows what happens with your third string quarterback, who was a seventh round pick. I saw Derek Brown and multiple other people talking about how, well, this this 49ers drafting is, is it hasn't caught up to him yet, up but to it's him. going to. What? It the, did. Yeah. It's there. They're there. It Rick, caught up to them. They're fucking awesome. Right. Like, look, they've missed on players. They missed Who on. doesn't miss? Like, and you can go back and, and revisionist history of this thing and say, hey, you know, look at all these picks they could have had with, with the picks they traded away for Lance. And it's like, yeah, well, they could have had Mahomes in one season. A bunch of people could have had Mahomes, you know. Eleven other teams. Uh, so it's just, it's 10. just that that kind of shit is is silly. Let let so we could take that kind of for what it is. And yeah, sure they they've had misses in their draft, but they've also drafted guys like Fred Warner, who is by and large the best middle linebacker in the game. And you can say middle linebacker doesn't matter anymore. Certain middle linebackers don't matter anymore. Fred Warner is the engine that makes that defense go. Him and Bosa, like, obviously they got Bosa. Now, that's a top pick, but you still have to hit on it, and sometimes you don't. Bosa's a fucking that dude. Fred Warner is that dude. He can cover. He's great in the run. He's awesome in the blitz. He does everything you need him to do as far as what the new middle linebacker needs to be. He's exactly the mold of what everybody wants their middle linebacker to be. That's why D'Amico Ryan just went down and spent traded his first round pick, which I know some of y'all don't like, whatever, for his boy. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on his name um, right now from Alabama. Anderson? No. Will Anderson. Will Anderson. Uh, he was captain that of that defense. Old running back. He also drafted. They also drafted Dre Greenlaw in like the fifth round. Who, if you don't know who that is, he's an awesome other linebacker. They they drafted uh, Al Sh- safety uh, Ufanga, Ufanga this this past year, who who was great in his Beast. rookie rookie campaign. They drafted um, Al Sh- uh, Al um, Dr- Al Sh- Al Shire. Um, who was undrafted, actually. They picked him up. Now he's on the Titans. He's about to, he, he made a great play in this last preseason game. He was outstanding for the Niners. Anytime Greenlaw was out, they didn't miss a fucking beat. He was awesome. They just couldn't keep him around. Uh, they, they've dra- they've they come drafted out here. Christian McCaffrey in the second, third round. <laughs> right. You know? They traded for McCaffrey. They traded for Trent Elijah Williams. Elijah Mitchell they picked up in the sixth and round. Then my, so they, they drafted George Kittle. They drafted Brandon In the Ayuk. fourth round. They drafted Debo Samuel. They drafted Both Juwan in the Jennings. the second round. Not Ju- Juwan Jennings. He's late. Debo and I. Ayuk was a first round pick. Debo fell these, to the these second. Are all, George Kittle was a fourth round pick. These are all players that are the one of the, regarded as the best at their position. And now mm-hmm. Ayuk is not necessarily the best, but there's a lot of people who are like, hey, he's a he's a top twelve receiver in the league. He just plays on a bit of a funky offense. Debo is a completely different animal. He's like one of one that does crazy shit. And would definitely get drafted in the first round. He did it over again. Right. So all they've done is, yeah, and they're doing all this with with a bottom third offensive line perennially, you know, 
know, they, they've tried to adjust it. Did, did they miss on McGlinchey? He was okay, but not great. They went and traded for Trent Williams. That Now they're going to have to figure that position out whenever Trent wants to retire, which is huge shoes to fill because he's mm-hmm. the best left tackle in the game, basically. Uh, so it's just silly. What are you going to fight? Like, why? Because you don't like some of the things that Kyle and John do and you don't like the way they respond to things and carry themselves on certain things. It's like, dude, the Niners were God fucking awful for most of my life. Harbaugh comes in. They're good. They don't like the ownership doesn't like Harbaugh. They get rid of him. I think the players were kind of fading on Harbaugh style a little bit. Definitely a little bit more collegiate to his style. Mm-hmm. I think the players all mostly like fucking Shanahan. Like they win. Their scheme's awesome. Like, yeah, does he screw up sometimes? Sure. Are you upset that they took Jake Moody in the third round? I guess so. Maybe he's awesome. Maybe he's not. I don't know. Should you have just kept Robbie Gold? Maybe so. But those are decisions that you have to make. I just it's it's wild to me that there's this many people who are that hot on this man's who thinks he, he they should be anywhere near hot seats like dude all dude. they've done is built a perennial fucking powerhouse without a real quarterback you guys screamed and yelled about fucking Jimmy Garoppolo forever they traded up to try to get a guy it was unfortunate and it didn't work out now Brock Purdy's here and he's super fucking cheap that's how you keep this ball fucking rolling that's what oh. everybody wants yeah. you just traded Trey Lance you got rid of 30 million like now, hey, maybe we can put a little bit of this towards the Bosa deal. You're getting more cap flexibility now all of a sudden. Maybe Brock Purdy comes out and, and isn't as advertised. But again, no, didn't I'm sure didn't get the best camp this year either because it was a weird injury. And we'll see what happens with that injury. And as far as the Sam Darnold thing goes, they want a fucking guy who they know can play as your QB too. You say whatever you want about Darnold. He's been in terrible situations. If Mahomes would have went to the fucking Jets when Darnold's at the Jets, he's is he is he where Darnold is? No, but is he the Patrick Mahomes that we know and and love right now? Also probably a no. You know, so it, you know, I, I think Darnold has everything that that Kyle likes and can has played 50 some games. So just everything was faster. It just there isn't a learning curve when your QB2 comes in. And there's no nothing saying that Lance couldn't have ended up being the QB two by the end of the season. Like it's just that that whole thing. He was, said that he was going to alternate it. They probably would have some packages ridiculous. for Lance. Like you know, who knows how that would have ended up? But you get a headline like that, and then these motherfucking pundits just run with this stupid shit, and right. then and then Twitter fucking follows, and it's just a bunch of garbage. And 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 well, the sentiment is that you know he is one of the people that's leading the charge of of calling putting Shanahan on a hot seat and being like Shanahan doesn't know what he's doing, and it's like. Anyone who's ever fucking shaking hands with Kyle Shanahan has a head coaching job right now. Right. Like anyone they can get their hands on who's talked to Kyle Shanahan has a head coaching job right now and a bunch of coordinator jobs. And like, could you imagine if Kyle Shanahan was on the open market because the 49ers fired him? Right. There would be like every team in the league lining up at the door being like... Uh, how do we not offend our current head coach to just try to get Kyle Shanahan? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. it's just absolutely ridiculous for anyone to be like, what is Kyle Shanahan doing? They need to pay up. They need to own up. And they and they have come out and talked about it. And being, and, and they, they talked about... What are you supposed to do, right. man? I took my fucking shot. It didn't work. Right. Look at us now. Yeah. We're still fucking good. Suck right. my dick. Yeah, and guess what? We're about to get our first round picks back. Like, let's go. Like, whatever. All right. Beat us then, you know? Well, they haven't gotten over the hump. Dude, only one team wins the fucking Super Bowl every year. I just want to be in the goddamn dance and have a fucking chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Like, that's all that's Well, they're all, third all in the want. ESPN power ring. Is this more than a chance? These right. boys are betting favorite dishes. Right. And if Purdy can go out there and do what Purdy did, they're going to annihilate a lot of teams in, with that offense. Because we just haven't we haven't seen it all, like, with, with, with CMC and Debo. And, and just they're so multiple on every level. This, this offense is so much fun to watch when it's humming. Uh, and yeah, can Shanahan get in his own way? Is there some ego there? Yeah. But there's also some non-ego stuff, like I said, with them not playing fucking Trey Lance and, and forcing right. a fucking square peg into a they round hole there. They are doing what's best for the team. Right. And there's like, oh, well, Kyle just doesn't like Trey Lance and they didn't give him a fair chance. It's like, dude, they're trying to win. They have a locker room. They have all sorts of shit to deal with. Like at the end of the day, you guys bitch about if they don't win and then you bitch about that they're winning too much and not playing the fucking right guy who, who probably going to cost them some wins. Colin Kaepernick I, didn't get I, a fair chance. Trey Lance will be just fine. I hope if Trey he's Lance good, is great. he'll be just I've fine. I've been calling for if this. If he can make it, he will. I, I, he'll be fucking fine. I've been calling for this since the off season. They need he to be fair to him. He needs to go somewhere where there's not somebody staring down his back, and he can just go about his business. And that's what Kyle had a press conference and talked about it and said, you know, hey, look, 
we talked to Trey. We want to. He wants to go. He wants to get somewhere where he can be the, the QB two, and, and we're going to try to figure that out. And they did, and they sent him somewhere, and that you know he wanted to go, and they obliged. Like they got like, I just he I. There's no way that Kyle doesn't fucking love Trey Lance. Like he went all in for you, dude. Not only that, you got paid thirty fucking million dollars, a lot of money anyway. I don't know what the exact total is, but you got paid a bunch of money, and 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 I know as a human being. That element sometimes gets lost in things, but I, you know I don't think they treated him poorly or unprofessionally, or they were ready to give him the reins. And it was, it was a, unfortunate. If unfortunate anything, series of events. He was a profe- there was videos of him like with strippers. Not that I give a fuck at all about any of that, but like, how is Kyle Shanahan being unprofessional? I just don't right. understand. Well, his ego, and if you get his doghouse, you can't get out of his doghouse, and he he just plays. It's just like you got you to have a doghouse. You, you guys are no one's so, ever gonna do what you want. So fucking extra with everything. And like, look what Brandon and I did like yeah. got himself out of that doghouse and then like I look at him. Andy Reid couldn't get over the hump without his Mahomes. He gets a Mahomes and good for him for trading up and getting them and, and cultivating them and all that kind of stuff. But like, you know, Andy Reid is a great coach, left the Eagles and guess what? He got snapped up by fucking KC and he's been there and now they got themselves a fucking dynasty. Kyle Shanahan is so young, so young. Is John Lynch going to stay around the whole time? I don't know. He's already kind of, you know, wished washed on maybe going to Amazon, going back into TV, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, who knows? But I, I just the whole 49ers Trey Lance saga, it was too much. It's silly. Let's take the fan colored goggles off and all the all the agendas and just try to look at it from up above and down on it and just call it for what it was. And which is what I just tried to do and say. So I hope hope that came across you know, all right. And, and that, that's, that's the way I view this thing. I know, you know, you can get 10 people in a room and and do everybody watch the same thing happen. And and 30% of it's going to say something completely different fucking happen when it's like, nah, man, that's, that's what just happened. So, you know, it is what it is. I just, and people don't want to take that bird's eye view. They're not looking at it from any other perspective than whatever it is. that pops into their stupid ass head. And, And now he's on the Cowboys and you know, you're, if we're talking fantasy, the fantasy stock is certainly plummeted. Um, but it held really strong for a really, really long yeah. time. Uh, it didn't work out. Um, but he's going to get an opportunity here. It, it, will he beat out Cooper Rush? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Uh, but I don't know if he's going to get an opportunity. Dak isn't the most healthy, obviously. But, I mean, you just traded it's a for fresh him. Start. So it, I just feel it's like. It's a fresh start. The fact that you just traded for him, I feel like there's just, every time there's a misstep with the Cowboys, there's just going to be noise about it. And it, yeah. it's, again, it kind of almost sucks for Trey Lance again because he's going to get brought into some nonsense that just really doesn't have anything to do with him. He just needs to play. That's really all that needs to happen. He just needs to go somewhere and play. Um, and, you know, it's probably not going to be on the Cowboys this year, obviously. But, hey. Like I said, every time Dak has a misstep, well, are they going to pay him again? Why'd they trade for Lance? Is Lance going to be the guy? Lance is great in practice. Locker room loves Lance. Jerry loves Lance. Like, you know, they, they think they can get everything they're getting out of Dak with Lance. And we're not going to pay him 40 million. You know, we're not going to pay Dak 45 million or whatever on, on this next contract. So uh, it's just going to be very interesting. Fantasy value wise, you could throw probably Lance down with uh, the Will Levises of the world. You know, maybe you could swap a Lance for for a Sam Howell or a Ritter for somebody who doesn't like those guys still, uh, but other than that, I think you're 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 down probably out of a lot of you know maybe a Jimmy G. You're out of a lot of the starter realms uh, for for anything for value with Lance. You just got to ride that rocket ship and hopefully it it bounces back up. Um, hey, if you have Trey Lance right now and he's dying on your team, you took the swing on a, on a up up up. You know that's what we're doing. We took swings. I'm, I'm assuming he's in super flex. That's the only time you're really devastated by this type of right. thing. You know, I got Lance in some one QB leagues. Oh, well. well right. what, what, what are you going to do? We took a swing on how awesome it could be. Right. Right. Just like the Niners did. Right. And it didn't work out. Right. And if your whole team sucks because of that one move, then you need to do better. Yeah. If you're still all right, then your process is not bad. Right. It's yeah. not. It, we weren't wrong. We just, it just didn't work out. If right. every fucking pick worked out, then everyone would win. And it, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Settle down. Yeah. It's just so cool to be mad. It's just so cool for everyone to be all upset and all up in arms and got to blame and, just, and point well, the finger at somebody. And just take a hard and, stance on something that you really probably hadn't even looked all that much into. You heard a couple people say something and then you just went over uh, there on that side. Mimic what because, you hear and all these. You know, it's just so ridiculous out there. And what you got to do and say to get clicks, 
Even the titles and stupid shit you got to come up with just to get clicks because there's just so much content, so much shit being thrown at you, so much consumption too. So it's like, that's why. And I mean, it's just all so watered down. And it's like the same shit you hear over and over. And I'm sure somebody has had this take already, but you know, I, I, I wanted to come out and, and give my two cents on this because, you know, it's something that we've been talking about all off season, all it's off season long. And you know, yeah. So all anyway, right. Shout out to you guys, uh, 5,000 uh, subscriptions on, on the YouTubes. So very much appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Tell us uh, that you like the trade, you don't like the trade, fair, unfair, professional, unprofessional. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. You know, I don't know. <laughs> um, but again, we appreciate you guys. We hope we always entertain and have fun and enjoy our conversations. Uh, when we try to have a conversation, we try not to come with just a, a, a stupid fucking 20 minute list of 16 guys and no context. And you know, there's a million dudes doing that out there. We'll do, we'll give they it got to a, you. They got 30 seconds of a blur memorized about right. all the things they do or don't like about a guy. And then you say that. And then what else is there even say? And that's it. Right. That's it. Damn, nailed it. Some of the some of those guys were all about Trey Lance, you know, for the wrong reasons, like some stat about how some rushing quarterback that's drafted in the top three, you right. know, like okay, it's draft right. cap, babe, draft cap. You made it all work. Guess yeah. what? It didn't work out. Right? Does that mean you're uh, hang gliding? I'm, so, oh, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, died in a hang gliding accident. <laughs> what an idiot. Uh, so yeah, man. We again, we we really appreciate you guys. You guys killed it for us this off season. A lot, lot of uh, great response. Um, and you know, I'm sure some people don't like it. So whatever, we'll we'll give you a couple of lists and some shorter stuff and 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 the clicky titles. But usually, just know when you're clicking on the title, you're getting more than uh, just the clicky title, quick headline rundown. We're usually going to have a bit of a conversation. So hopefully, Even you guys more of enjoy a conversation it. over on Patreon.com/slash the FF Dynasty. Come jump in the pleasure chest. Tons of tons of treasures in there. Rankings, right. ADP, right. mocks, all off season three, long. Three extra shows a, a month, and then we're, we're going to be an in season here and doing some live. We're going to carry carry patrons. right over some of the stuff we're doing on Monday nights and some more recap and more talking and and more trade discussions uh, on the Wednesday or Thursday night Patreon shows in season there. So um, again, we appreciate you guys. We'll we'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>